Some things in life have a special quality. Binoculars by Zeiss. A car by Maserati. You find it in a lighter by Dupont. A watch by Omega. In cigarettes by John Player Special. Specially created by John Player to be the world's finest achievement in Virginia cigarettes. Some things in life have a special quality. John Player Special. Hey guys, Archie Luxury here. How are you people today? How are you going today? This is the live stream. We got Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hey, Paul. I just wanted to say, hey, I can't stay tonight, but I just want to say okay. what's up, and uh, okay. I'll be listening. Hey, that's fantastic, man. What car are you yeah, driving man. now? Uh, same one, the three you series. Had to be a... I yeah. thought you were getting a Tesla. Yeah, so that's not ready yet, okay. but something else is brewing. I'm probably going to send you a picture tonight. I think it's at home right now. Okay, okay. Look after your beamer. You know that? <laughs> I'm disappointed yeah. you don't wash it yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Paul, I don't know Tommy. how to do all that. Tommy, Tommy, there's Google, 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 YouTube, YouTube videos, man. A man <laughs> and his car. You got to have that relationship, man. I'm sorry. You know, and I wouldn't I let anyone wash my wheels, squeeze my, you know, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, you and Ronnie Paul are definitely starting to rub off on me a little bit. What's the point in buying this stuff if you don't look after it? It's like having a watch and just using it. you got to safe queen it. you got to look after it, worship point. it, man. Absolutely. Come That's on, a good man, point. Get with the program. Get with the program. Get with the program, guys. And Ronnie, speak of the devil. Ronnie Paul is here. Ronnie Paul, how are you? Hey, Ronnie. How are you doing? Ronnie Paul, uh, Thomas, see, you wouldn't even understand this dilemma. Yesterday I had a dilemma. It was spitting rain. Do I take the beamer out or do I leave it? <laughs> You're right. Very I hard wouldn't decision. understand the rain. <laughs> but I mean, so what are you worried about, Paul? Is it water damage or is it paint? What are you concerned about in rain? Rough. Well, there's acid rain. There's a lot of chemicals in the rain. There's also a lot of marks that you'll get on the wheels. There's, you know, mud and slimy okay. stuff and you know it gets underbody i got i got leaves on the inside wheel well ronnie paul okay. can you explain it to him <laughs> in, in general you're just anal about the car and you want to keep it as clean and mint as possible <laughs> yeah that's it see so I, I you know what i decided i said you know i'm driving it we're going because this was the first family outing I, it's a two two it's a double-edged sword because the kids actually went for a mountain walk because I actually filmed a video for the channel because I got to claim those kilometers as a tax deduction. Remember that. And they did bring muddy feet back onto the floor mats because I haven't got the rubber mats yet, Ronnie Paul. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think of that. I thought you were just going to take it out for a spin and bring it right back. No, we went for a mountain drive, which was absolutely amazing. <laughs> but they went out and they came back with dirty feet. Well, you, they kept it on the mats. You're fine. On the yeah. rubber, right? The rubber's fine. No, these are the woolen mats from BMW. Okay. So what you do is you just let it dry. Listen vacuum it up. Let it dry. Vacuum it up. And you brought that carpet uh, foam? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. You just shake the can, squirt a bit of that, get a get the a way, nice Just show rack. everyone at home the carpet foam, the foam. The Meguiar's yeah. upholstery cleaner, $27 a can. So give that, give it a bit of a a, a, a squeezy of that. Yeah, you got to shake it up first because it comes out like a foam. Yeah, I know, no, I know exactly. I've used it before. I've yeah. used it before. No, no, no. That's okay. So that'll be okay. Yeah. And then with, I'm gonna put the way, they, the way they make the carpets these. Like I've had the same problem with my car. I had my nephew get in once. He was playing soccer, 
He got oh, in the, he, fuck. I was going to put him in the boot. What do you say? We, can you please hop in the boot, in the truck? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't realize it. And then it was only after he got out of the car and I was on my way home that I realized that there was some, you know, dirt on the carpet that's on the door sill mm. of the door jam. But it's it's easy. You just it it you just let it dry up, and when it's all nice and dusty, and then you vacuum it and put that foam stuff on it, and it's fine. It's okay, a quick cleanup. Okay, okay, okay. It's See, only Thomas, when they start. It's only when they start dropping uh, like soda pop, ketchup. Okay, hamburger. guys, it's time to super chat now. Super chat now, guys. Super chat. Super chat. Ronnie Paul, I gotta tell you, um, this relationship with the car any if you need to drop out tommy you you're welcome thank you for coming on oh yeah tommy. i'm still here right now but yeah or as soon as i go i'll let you know and i'll go no, no worries tommy um you got the f30 what's it what what model is it 330 330i same as mine same it's, 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 i think you what year is yours uh 2017 2017 and what color white white and beige interior Beige. Oh, I would have gone for black. What do you it think? It was a Ronnie demo Paul? too, Paul. It was a demo. Oh, and so this is an F30. I actually like the white with the beige, but I just worry I like about dark that. colors too. No, I agree with you. Yeah. And how much was it? How much did you? How much was the stick? I how didn't much pay anything. It? it was my parents at that time. Yeah. I was in high school. I have no yeah. idea. Probably like thirty-five at the most. I'd say about forty, but anyhow, let's not. Okay, 40, thirty-five yeah. maybe because it's demo. Yeah. And. How have you found this BMW? Do you love it? Do you have a relationship with it? So I, I really love the driving. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, the technology for that yeah, year. See, it was, it was Ronnie Paul, good. when you're given a car, you don't love it. Like when you've had to fucking hock your asshole well, that's to get it. True. That's definitely I'm true. Sorry. No, see, you're I right. Wouldn't even, I wouldn't even think of letting. Oh, Ronnie Paul, you know what? If you gave me a choice. Put a knife through my hand or take my car through a car wash. What would you rather do, Ronnie Paul? <clears throat> I'd rather take the car through the car wash. <laughs> okay, okay. But you know what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Would you uh, take yours through a car wash? So I go, I've go. i gone through some touchless washes before, yeah. Okay. If it's late, listen, if it's late in the season here in Canada, like if it's November... And it's just before I'm about to put the car away for the winter. I'm not going to yeah. be doing any. I'm not going to be doing any uh, bucket washes in minus ten degree weather. I mean, it's not happening. Yeah, see, he's not a true enthusiast there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronnie Paul. No, I agree with you. Look, I, I live in a different climate. It's fucking hot here. So how hot? Is it? How hot? How? What's the coldest it gets in a? You know, oh, it gets sorry. really cold. You know, the other day I went to the mountains. It was 22 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but I mean, what about Brisbane? Uh, look, the city. Uh, look, I I, I got to tell you, um, what do you 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 use you use Fahrenheit? So seventy one, seventy one. No, you use Celsius. So, oh, you use twenty two Celsius. Oh, so I mean, that's, that's so nothing. cold, man. Twenty five degrees okay. is room temperature. Okay, we we in winter we go down to about eight. But it doesn't snow. No, no. Hey, my wife drives a BMW. I drive a Camry. We got plastic <laughs> on. Hey, morning, plastic. <laughs> hey, and hello, KC. Hey, hello, KC. Hey, 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 Ronnie. Hey, 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 We got Mike, the Me and KC's on many light, light hours. Well. Me and KC's on many hey, hours no, that's on okay. the show stream. Yeah, snake, man. snake. I took the car out yesterday. I decided to take the car out. That was it. We had a great trip. Good, good. It was fantastic. It was actually in the rain. I got to use the automatic wipers. And, oh, uh, aren't, those, aren't those fucking great? Yeah. You just push, so the, push the push the tab on the button and it and it does the wipers for you like whenever necessary. You don't even have to think about your wipers anymore. That's a great function. I, I realized something. <laughs> When we went for a demo in the 330i, the salesman planted his foot on it in sports mode, and it made some really great noises. That's fake sound. Oh, yeah. No, they, they, they actually I'm trying to mute sound you. through the speakers of your car. Yeah, they, it's fake they... sound. I'm trying to mute you, Plastic. A bit of noise there. I'm trying to mute you and mute you off when I want to talk to you. Uh. 
Uh, he's fucking annoying. That's there we go. He's muted yeah. him now. Yeah, no, they, um, they actually, they actually, uh, they. There's they, no super they chats, play... guys. This car channel's going to sink faster than the Titanic. Well, I don't, I don't know if that many people know about it. I mean, you just yeah. announced it quickly, uh, briefly I'm... yesterday. But yeah, it, 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 uh, a lot of car companies do that. They'll they'll play engine noise through their the stereo to make it uh, sound. Uh, more racy inside the car. Actually, I find it almost necessary on some cars because some cars are so quiet, you can't hear the engine at all. Well, you know, in the BMW i8, it's a three-cylinder with an electric motor. What fucking noise is that going to make, Ronnie Paul? That's not a fucking V8, is it? Hey, man, <laughs> those three-cylinder motors are fucking gnarly. I mean... You're joking. They, they are surprising... Like <laughs> you just think, oh, three cylinders, you know, how can that make any power? They are fucking off the chain. Um, they and then the coupled coupled with the uh, the electric power, um, they actually they hold their own against any gas powered thing. Is I got to tell you, I'm actually really happy to have got the car a little bit dirty because I want to wash it. I want to vacuum uh, it. Yeah, I want to. Sure. I want to actually get it schmicko again and uh i got the car cover coming i told you i bought the uh, fuck you know what i bought a car cover on ebay it cost me 150 dollars. it's a nice blue indoor one and then i went to the auto shop and they were 80 bucks oh man yeah but, I heard, it's probably I heard a higher day, quality one what do you reckon I heard the Ronnie other Paul? Day that everything on amazon is overpriced these days for some reason like everything mm. they've just Fucking jack their prices up. Because I remember but that, you know, Ronnie, if you're buying. Ronnie Paul's been wanting to say something. For oh, a while. William Money, $50 high arch. Really All enjoy right, your car William. talk show. I'll try and jump on one day next week. If it, that, man, we'd love if it hasn't sunk yet. I'm probably going to be doing car talk, I'm thinking three or four days a week Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's three days. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Thr Friday. Probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's what I'll I'll try and do. I think that'll be best for car talk. Um, see if look, uh, thank you like so much, before... William. Money without the support, this thing would sink. Okay, uh, Snake. Uh, so anyhow, I took the car out. KC, how are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Hey, yeah, I just want to talk. Yes, yes. Yeah. Did, did you get one of these style things? The mini vacuum cleaners. No, where do you get that from? Oh, you, you can. I think you can get get it uh, quite cheap from store. the auto shops or anything like that. So you can get into all Nato, the services. NATO, NATO, yeah. two dollars. Now NATO, he's the guy who sent me Glenlivet fifteen. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Thank get you. Get yourself a foam gun for car washing. You know what I. I've I've spent a bit of money so far. I gotta I gotta actually make the payment. I gotta make the payment. I gotta tell you, you know who really disappoints me on this panel today? Who? Plastic. He doesn't wash his own car. I'm sorry, plastic. I'm gonna have to do a bit of shaming. Did you know plastic lets his children drink soft drink in his vehicles? Uh, uh, not that <laughs> huge of a sin. Hey, Ronnie, what, what did you want Mom. to say earlier? You, you got cut off. I was going to ask uh, Archie if he's opened the hood of the car and looked at the engine yet. Yeah, actually, I took some photos yesterday. Oh, I yeah. Did. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. There's a lot it's of plastic. Kinda like, it's kind of like, where's the engine? <laughs> <laughs> I got to be totally honest with you. The way they wrap the stuff around the wires, I think my Civic did it better. <laughs> Oh, really? They didn't use a proper loom on the wires? I'm in love with my It's done color. cheaply. Really? Eh? Now, 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 Plastic, i got to tell you, he feel. lets his kids drink my soft drink in the car. Can you, you please tell us the soft drink story about the Coca-Cola, Plastic? Why is he Plastic, <laughs> Plastic, can you give us the Coca-Cola story, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. My son no, spilled coke on the Camry. No, no, you took him to See? cricket. He had a can of drink in his hand. He said, oh, Dad, I won't spill it. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. He begged him. And sure enough, he fucking spilled it. Tell us the story. Come on, Plastic. I want to hear this story. Come on. I'm in love with my car. You're so much fucking love with it. Why do you let the kids eat in it? 
Why do you let you? I'm going to boot you today. You're getting booted for letting food into the car today. See you later, plastic. KC, would you let kids drink Coca Cola in your BMW? Nah, I wouldn't. Yeah. No Can drinks, I tell no you a food. Story? One time we had a dog. <laughs> drink, my no first food wife. In my car. We had you a dog. I don't, I, don't, I don't dislike animals, but we had to take the dog somewhere. I insisted we put it into a bag because I don't want fucking dog hair in my car. Is that wrong, you put Ronnie the, Paul? You put the dog in a well, bag? Actually, <laughs> the worst a, 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 a material bag. So he had his head out, but he, he, oh, his okay. body was in, in the sack. You know, like yeah. a barrel bag. Well, you don't okay. want him getting all over the seats because he's got the, the claws on his paws and he's going to put holes into your uh, interior. Well, if he's in a bag, though, if he's in one of those those uh, heavy duty bags that Archie's talking about, it's like a zipper bag yeah. with a hard, a soft, hardish bottom. I don't think it's I, I don't want fucking through. dog hair or oils in my. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking... not. Hey, when I had ten minutes to fucking escape my house during this yeah. last fire, um, I fucking loaded my trunk up and I fucking ran into my room and I grabbed the fucking uh the feather, um. Uh, blanket that I have, and I threw it over the inside of my car before I threw my dogs in the car <laughs> with <laughs> 10 minutes to live. <laughs> I still <laughs> fucking covered the inside of my car to keep their little white hairs. You made it digging. out, didn't you? What? You car <laughs> made it out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this was when uh, the this last was the fire a year ago, when um, my neighbor banged on the door and the fires had uh, were just up the street and you know, it's a, it was a miracle that my house even survived. Uh, um, Did your car get any fire damage? Uh, no, other than the air cleaners getting, you know, filled with smoky air, which I just had them replaced recently. Um, no. Um, although, Eddie? yes, actually, yes. Uh, ash, ash, water and ash um, turns to acid and... Uh, or actually, I think it becomes highly alkali, and it did leave a lot of water spots all over my paint. So my paint is officially foobard until I get an official professional buff job um, and uh, okay. detail. Um, Eddie Vesalo, five euro arch. Can I ask a watch question here or what? You can throw a watch question in. I'm actually going to be doing a watch show in about 40 minutes on the Archie Luxury live stream channel, but throw it in, Eddie, because we, we will keep, we will gladly answer it if we can. Please throw it in. Throw it in, Eddie. I got to tell you, Mike, that wasn't called for. Plastic, we've got to have some public shaming. No more drinking, eating. Would you, would you let kids eat food in your car, Ronnie Paul? Listen, man, I, I've gone on, you know, a few big, you know, I take a week off of work and go up to my sister's cottage up north. She yeah. has she has three kids. And when we would go into town with the kids, we would take her Jeep. Yeah. And I would look, I would sit in the front seat and let me tell you, her car is a disaster. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's dirt, dirt and mud everywhere, dust. You know, the kids, the kids eat Skittles and the package when they open it breaks and all the Skittles scatter all over the carpet. I'm then finding, they melt into the carpet I'm on finding, a hot day. I'm finding candy bars, loose paper under the seats and oh, it's French, a French fries, French fries under the seat. How do the kids behave in your car? In mine? Oh, <laughs> well, they, they, well, other aside from the young guy when he was like seven or eight years old putting the the dirty cleats and on the carpet. The others are the others are fine. So no, that they know the rules. Who explained the rules to these kids? I did. Can, what did you say? Well, they uh, well it, they're older now, right? So the oldest one is like seventeen years old, and the youngest boy is like thirteen, fourteen. So I tell them how they're to behave in my car and stuff like that, and they already know it before they even get in. And uh, now because they're older it's interesting they seem to have a, a more appreciation of my car and they call it the special car so yes. uh they, they know right. that they have to behave they, they know that they have to behave a certain way when they get into it so yeah exactly otherwise you'll turf them you know i well, was at the dealership and they gave us some bottled water i'd finished my water they were just about to drive off and i just gave it back they gave a bottle to my wife and i said hey hang on a minute stop stop no <laughs> drinks in the car i said i just paid eighty-one thousand dollars for a bmw from you people 
The last thing I need is a dollar bottle of water spilling over my beautiful $81,000 BMW. Please, no thank you. Worse is if it gets over the center console because a lot of the electronics yeah. are, in, are in your center console. And if you spill water or juice... Could I tell you a, a you horror can, story? You can, can, I tell, can I tell you a horror story? I love horror stories. Let's hear it. Okay. A friend of mine, I'm not going to name him, but he had an E55 Mercedes AMG. Ooh, nice. AMG. Anything oh, AMG. AMG, I anything AMG is so that's the big like five liter M V8. He bought it new. Okay. His, his wife, who became a, she had a meth habit crystal meth habit okay this was oh, it's a long no. story i'm not, not going to go into it but one time he had a fight with her she shook a can of coke up shook a can of coke up and opened it right in the front center console oh, dash panel oh, oh crap <laughs> you right? know, I, I i can almost top that archie i had i he bought said a couple to me, cans oh, sorry, he nearly ahead. just hang on one tick mike he said he that's the only time he ever wanted to kill her. <laughs> I I understand completely. They, they ended up divorced, but he said to me he could never get that out of the car. No matter what he did, he went to a detailer, he got it washed, he tried, he put cloth, yeah. he put rice, whatever he did there. Some things just never... don't come out. So tell me your story, Mike. Give me your story. Uh, this was a, it, luckily it was, it was my, the car before my first BMW, it was a Saturn. My mother had given me, I'd driven it for 11 ah, years, but I, remember the I, bought, I bought a couple of cans of fix a flat that I yes. had meant to put in my trunk, but yes. I, I ended up leaving them in my front seat on like a 105 degree day, uh, yeah. which is, I don't know, in metric, but it's fucking hot as shit. And anyways, it's forty degrees, forty degrees. The two 40. cans 5. exploded. Two cans Holy of fix the flat shit. exploded in the front seat of my car and Holy blew fix a flat glue goo oh, all fuck. over the interior of my car, all over That's the. That's a write off. Was that a write off? No, I just had to clean it up and fucking move on. I mean, it was a piece of shit car, anyways. But um, still, you don't want it. Did have, it did have leather it. seats. It actually had leather seats, which were pretty much kind of ruined by that but um Fucking yeah hell, that, happened, that is that happened Mike, to me. That's a dis Mike, that's a isn't disaster. that a horrible story <laughs> that's a dis ronnie paul what would you well if and a car like mine i mean if i didn't notice it right because i don't drive the vehicle as much mm. Mm. if something like that happened in mine it would be sitting in there for such a long time that by the time i did come across it it would be it would be permanent yeah i've I found a few flaws with my car, by the way, because it was a demonstrator. Okay. So you found some uh, scratches around the, the yeah. base uh, well, where people scratch their foot getting in and out of the car? Yeah, a little bit. Also, it's got what wireless charging. You put your iPhone on this rubber mat thing that charges it. That oh. looks a bit – doesn't look perfect. Okay. The – uh, it, where the seat, you've got an extension piece. There's a little bit of leathers come off in a little pot. And it's kind of, I don't know whether I should say something or not. Does your seat have a little thing you reach under in the front middle and the, the front of the seat it's will extend out? It's the extended, yeah. but it, it's a little piece is miss. Is it something has worn off? I don't know. So, could I say something well, or not? Well, listen, do you, do you plan on buying out the lease at the end of the term? But I, I don't know whether I'm just being a real picky. Well, no, shit. because no. this is the thing. If you return the car, they're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb. And there is a certain expectation based on the kilometers, the year of the car, yeah. and yeah. what kind of wear is expected. You so if, that, you if that damage, if that if that damage on that leather ex, on the extender part of the seat starts to get bigger and bigger, you're not going to be able to hide that. And they're going to say, well, Mr. Mr. Uh, Pluta, this is uh, unacceptable wear and tear, and we're going to have to reupholster this. And you're going to say, "Well, how much is that going to set me back?" Eight hundred bucks. And what they'll yeah, and what they'll say is, "Well, if you go into another lease agreement with us, it won't cost you anything. Or if you buy the vehicle out, it won't cost you anything. Yeah. But if you are leaving the lease and you're not doing business, maybe, maybe I'll I'll just take some photos of it and say to them, just yeah, or, email it. Yeah, email it. Go go back to the dealership. The other thing is, let me say what. 
one other thing. Show it to them. Show it. Bring it to their attention okay. today in person. The other say, thing Look, is, it's got fantastic. Just one minute there. One minute there. I'm going to get onto Rolly Mania in one minute. I just want to say one thing. The other fault with the car is, you know, that the the front bonnet. You know, you know, the bumper. The front bumper. Yeah. The cameras come on when there's side intrusions, but it's not terribly good if there's a parking beam at the front. Uh huh. So you can actually still put the bumper onto a parking, like oh, a railway one sleeper. Of those, one of those, yeah, one of those those blocks so that you don't go into the yeah, other parking bump, the other. Yeah. parking bump stuff. Yeah. So, so you, can, you can ask them about that. So I've actually put my hand under there. There are some scratches on that. Underneath Maybe. there. That's is that from, worth mentioning that's or not? From people bonking out of a parking lot. No, I, 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 no, no it, it's it, it, it's from people when they're parking there where there's a railway sleeper in front, they've hit it because the car is a bit low. Yeah. The cameras haven't yep. come on to tell you that. So, Ronnie Paul, what my question is, do I say that to them? There's a few scratches under here or just leave it? Again, would, when you're going for the thing, you can ask them about that. I don't know how thorough they are with checking stuff. I mean, do they get right up under their knees and or do they put it up on a hoist and Well, I'm and just asking you, what would you do? Archie, it, it everything you, you find, everything yeah. you notice, I would I would go to the dealership, take pictures of it first and then go to the dealership, get one of their salespeople and to, and show them personally everything that you've found now. Okay? Yeah. So that down the road they don't hit you for it because they will hit you for every fucking thing they can find that may or may not you have may or may not have caused. And and if you have brought that to their attention early on, you could say, ah, 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 those scratches were there two days after I bought the car. I didn't put them there. They were there when I bought, when I leased the car originally. So you can't hit me with that. Now, if you wait, all right, you, you're, you lose. You need to you need to, to like take that that fucking scratch in your in your seat and mm. take pictures of it and then you need to go to the dealership and and get a salesperson or get the manager and and show these things to him. Go get nitpicky, okay? You know what? All, I think the best all... thing I'll do is I'll put it into an email because then we got no. We got a. We got a, a documented yeah, got paperwork, proof. Documentation. And I'll print out a copy, put it in my file, and then I don't mind it. It's just a little flaw, right? And and look, yeah. to be honest with you, I saved ten thousand bucks. Yeah, but you know, still, I, I, I don't. I don't. Just very quickly, Roly Mania, four pounds fifty. C sixty three. That's the Mercedes Benz C class. RS5, that's the Audi, or M4, 2000, and that's the F30 M4. Next car choice, help. I got to be totally honest with you. I'm not a big fan. Now, when he says C64, he's talking sedan, I think. Because if the S, I think the S is the coupe, is it? Is the S the coupe? Or the S can just be. <clears throat> I got to be totally honest with you. <clears throat> Out of that choice there. I think the M4. M4's got all the performance. Yeah. M4's yeah, got, got the fucking well, the, M. The Mercedes it, has got the V8, but is that a V8? It doesn't matter. The M, the M means V8 or is it a six? Mean. I'm trying to remember. The M means mean. It means it's fucking it's got the, power, the, and mm. it's got the extra gumption and all the extra things like 19-inch wheels and stiffer suspension and better handling and nicer fucking interior accents and, i think it's and an everything. m156 engine which is the v8 you, I think. You, honestly you don't want the bmw v8 uh, the, the bmw v8 was was kind of a, a lemon Actually, engine that, it needed the yeah. bear, main bearings replaced periodically and it made its yeah. peak power at peak yeah. rpm which also the is, v10 was wasn't wrong. the greatest either wasn't it the v10 uh i don't think it was a huge smash either um, they're in line six. The N54 and N55 engines were their superstars. The um, N, yeah, the that that my 100% D time love show five pounds. Looking to upgrade family car, mate. M8 Grand Coupe or Mercedes CLS 
63 AMG. I'd, I'd go CLS, CLS, CLS. Yeah, CLS. Sorry. For I'm sure. sorry. I love my BMWs, but Ronnie Paul, give us an opinion. Archie, I'm, I'm not particularly well versed in these vehicles. I'm more Tommy, about the... Tommy. Well, uh, I mean, like Ronnie Paul said, but I'd probably go Mercedes. Okay. Casey, Casey. Yeah. Uh, Mercedes. For me, I'll go with the BMWs, even though the Mercs are oh. giving out more power. Yeah. Okay. I just prefer the handling on the BMWs. Uh, okay. Just got to get over cool, you gotta get rid of those, the My wife's BMW park assist is genius. You got a Lamon. Well, it's not. No, no. You don't understand. The parking assist. You'd go into the bay. The cameras don't come on. I want them to come on when they come up to a, you know, a blocker. You understand what I'm saying? You might be able to have the them adjusted down so that they actually come on. There's probably a, a, a proximity sensor that trips them yeah. on. And Eddie, they may be, Eddie, they may Eddie. Be... Eddie Valasso, 20 pounds. I'm a serious watch enthusiast. Have had every Rolex Steel Sports, Aquanauts, 50 Favins, tons of Amiga IWC. But the Hublot Mecca 10 movement is by far the coolest thing I've seen. Help me. I may buy a Hublot. No. No, 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 no. No, that's like buying a Lexus here. Get out of here. No. You're out of your fucking mind, Eddie. You're yeah. out of your mind. Why? CLS uh, 63 um, AMG. Definitely. Fucking out of, out of his mind. A mecha tent. Why? Nothing special about that watch. Nothing that I really like about it. What's so great about this? What is so great about this watch? Eddie. Look. Let's pull it that watch up look, during watch yeah, discussion. I'm just pulling it up. We're just pulling it up. I'll just pull it up quickly. Oh, I was going to say, Eddie, because he paid pull twenty pounds. That's a lot of money, Eddie. That's a lot of money. We've got to put it. Give him some time. It's fucking ugly. What's the big deal? I don't understand. What's so good about this? Why, kinda, Eddie? Kinda Eddie looks, uh, looks uh, offshore-ish without the hexagonal. Uh, we, we will Bezel. bring that up in the – Eddie, come over to the Archie Luxury live stream. We're going to talk further to give you some more value. Uh, Hoff on Smash, $5. Four rings for the win. I sent you a pic of my S6 on WhatsApp, Arch. What do you think? Bring it up, Arch. Bring See, it up, I think Arch. The S6 is one of those fucking sexy, sexy – Bring uh, it up, albums. Arch. Bring it up. I'm trying to find it. Where is this pick? I can't see it. Send it to me again so I can. It's at the top of my list. Hoff on smash. Yeah. No, M3 not Carlino. Mike the Snake. I bought oh. an M4. It's 2015. Oh, shit. Three yeah, I got it. I got it. Turbo. Actually, that's this the engine is a... I have. That's, I have the same engine. Um, zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Dual clutch transmission. That's what I have. Actually, Collecting next week. Having wheels changed from black to frozen gold. Very fast and luxury leather seats. That's what I have. He just described my car. Um, he's getting the uh, the twin turbo inline six N54 engine. That's what, what I have. Car. Fucking um, sexy. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm bringing it up now. Tell me what you think. Beautiful. Uh, S6. It's nice, except it's a four door. What's wrong? With, I like four doors. What's wrong with that? Fuck four doors, that man. There's, there's something inherently wrong with four doors, and that is that they have four doors. I thought yours is <laughs> a four door. Look inside. Beautiful I love that timing. diamond stitching. It's like Bentley. Look at this. Yeah. And he's got plastic. I like it. got plastic on the floors there. Look at that. Well, that's like when he bought it new. Even the center console looks like it has plastic on it, no? Yeah. Good on him. Thank you for keeping Have you still got the plastic on there? I'll give you extra points. For st look, he's got a Rolex Sea Dweller 43. Oh, Arch, uh, if you want to want to put me up, um, I switched. My two weeks ran out. Um, I'm now wearing my, uh, my Submariner. Sub. Beautiful. I'm wearing one as well, man. Yeah. Today I switched. Uh, I was wearing my Speedmaster for the last two weeks. Now uh, it's mm. two weeks is... Uh, my uh submariner rotation so beautiful mike um yeah it's a little small on my wrist but i love it man i think it's the most perfect watch ever fucking made pretty much 
is it wrong that I really love my car, guys? I am so. I've got problems in in certain parts of my life, but the car so, gives me some joy. I am so happy that you, that car makes you happy, Arch, because that's what cars do. If you're a car enthusiast, cars make you happy, right, Ronnie? Yeah, Archie, did you yes. get the paint? Did, did did they give you the paint stick? Fuck, <laughs> Ronnie Paul. <laughs> That's BMW why... is no longer doing paint sticks. They said, oh, we'll put, talk to our body shop. They might be able to do one off for you. And I said, no, 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 no. That's going to be expensive. Forget it. So what are you no, going to do? You, you get it done for free. No, no. I'm I'm going to get, look. That paint color is a standard paint color. They've got it. Oh, stock. there's third party companies that, that have them, Ronnie Paul. Also, for my car, there's no dash mat at the moment. The G20 BMW. You, I can see. I can get a fucking American dash mat, a G20 American, but they drive on the wrong side, Ronnie Paul. <laughs> so I need to get KC. You got a dash mat? No, I don't use that. I've, well, you mine got. Like, you got no, a mine are tinted, so they are pretty much. Clean. Eye, but your right? front window is not tinted. You can't. No, no, I, I've tinted my front window as well. Yeah. Archie, you got oh. a three thirty i right? 330i, yes. Okay, hold. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up the dashboard on your car. I want. No, I had a couple. The of problem is, you guys drive. I can get an American one, but I need the the other side. We drive on the other side. It doesn't matter. Um, Hoff uh, on Smash five dollars. Okay, we did that one. Hoff on Smash two dollars. Steel Sports Rolex and European Sports Sedan. Love, love, love. You bet you. Of course, of course, Rolex, steel sports Rolex, and European sports sedan. Hmm, I agree with that. What do you think, Ronnie Paul? What kind of, what kind of scotch would you be drinking with that? Scotch? Well, yeah, you have three things, right? You got to have your Rolex, you got to have your steel... You gotta have your European sports sedan and what kind of what kind of scotch? Tell you what, this one Ronnie Paul sent me, this Glenn Fiddick 15 doesn't go too wrong indeed. This is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful gift. You know, he's 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 honestly that is fucking nice. Ronnie, he's a nice guy. Let what? me say this to you guys. Let me say this to you. Um I I think you guys are being a bit tolerant. Plastic, I want to call Plastic out because he doesn't wash his own car. Uh, uh. He doesn't wash his own car. And he also, he lets his kids eat. Man, I said to him, there's no fucking eating or drinking in the car. You know, you know I'll tell you another story. This is when I had a midlife crisis. I, had this, I was dating this woman. She had a daughter. And I said, she said, oh, I went to pick her up. And the daughter's got a drink of lemonade. And I said, please, can we, no drinks in the car. Could we just put that? No, no, she promises she, she'll be careful. Yeah, <laughs> Obviously, right. she spills it, doesn't she, Ronnie Paul? Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? That's like, and, uh, trust I, me. <laughs> I, I just, you know, what do you say? What do you say? Well, it's like when my girlfriend was spilling the corn nuts in my car, right? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you say fucking get out. Um, Archie. I just pulled up a, a picture of your dashboard, and they have changed, and they no longer on my car. I have an oil temperature Which, gauge, and on your car, you have a water temperature gauge. Ah, oh, it is water. Okay, so your that goes about gauge, half. Is that correct? Is half half is the the temperature? Is that right? Yeah, or wrong? yeah. It should should be should ride right around in the half, right around half, or maybe a little lower okay. than half, right around there. And uh, okay. if it starts to creep up towards the red, um, monitor it and pull over if it starts getting past the, th the third line. I, um, but I, in any case, remember what I kept telling you about oil temperature and all that shit? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. All the older old BMWs didn't have a water temperature gauge. They, they had, had an oil, oil temperature. temperature gauge. And that gauge does not move for 10 minutes. Okay. okay. This gauge... We'll start. To what would my E30 within... have had? That was water or oil? Uh, probably oil. 
Can you uh, double check that? I'll come back to you. I've got to do these super chats. JT, $5. Arch, thoughts on Alexis 2022 models? I accept Germans have more prestige, but their reliability lets them down. JT, I could not agree with you more. In fact, I went into the dealership at Lexus to actually get a Lexus. I wanted an IS 300 or an IS 350. Guess what? I had a fucking fight with the dealer. Okay, he starts. I said, you know, what sort of idiots at Alexis stop the IS? And the the guy says, that's your opinion, sir. I said, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm the fucking customer, right? I'm the fucking customer. Why don't you stick your fucking Lexus up your fucking asshole, and I'll buy a BMW? That's the only reason I bought the car was to spite him. I didn't <laughs> actually. I can't afford it. I leased it. Can't afford it. I love Lexus. The thing about Lexus is I like. Okay, let let's just get to a bit few, bit of dynamics here. I'm gonna come to it quickly because I got more super chats coming through very quickly. Basically, I want a rear wheel drive car, engine in the front, front steer, wheels do the. That's where the power goes. Yep. Yeah. In Australia, they have dropped the IS, so I didn't really want to buy an orphan car. That's because they, it's going to be hard to get parts. They're no longer going to be bringing parts in because they don't have that model available. The base model Lexus in Australia is now the ES250, which is basically, I don't want to be rude because the Camry is a great car, but it's basically a Camry. And I don't want to pay all that money because it hasn't got the fucking driving experience, okay? And it's a bit bigger. I, I wanted a compact three-series size car. So my honest thoughts is Lexus is amazing. The IS is a little bit dated. I know they had a new version came out about a year ago. They revised the IS. I haven't actually. They're amazing, but no cigar. Okay, that's the problem. Stud Muffin, $2. Arch, pull up my email for the panel. Stud Muffin. Now, Stud Muffin, this is getting hard because it, I'm the one man on the panel and this email, where did you send it? Which which email address did you send it to, Stud Muffin? Archie Luxury72, because then I got to jump on my phone and redirect it because I use different accounts for each YouTube channel. So let me see if I can find this fucking thing. My eyesight's shit as well, because I'm middle age and cranky. You know what I mean? I'm I'm <laughs> forwarding this. I'm just forwarding this. Listen, Archie, with regards to that question about the Lexus, yeah. The one the right. one good thing the one good thing that Lexus is known for having is with all the complications with electronics and vehicles these days, yeah. it's not one of the better better electrical systems set up in the vehicle. Uh, uh Scotty Kilmer, he mentioned that too. He said that if he were to buy a car with all these it, complex instruments, yeah. you know this what? This is the best. Can I say this too? I think BMW itself Mercedes, you're fucking amazing cars, right? Do you want to own it after the lease? Well, how many years, how many months is the lease or years? Just one minute. I'm forwarding this fucking thing because it hasn't come through. See, this is what happens. For small super chats, it's such a hassle. For what? See, because this is fucking hard for me to get this fucking thing through. It's hard. It's hard. It's not coming through. And I just pressed the fucking button that hasn't come through yet. Okay, so fuck me dead, stud muffin. For two bucks, fuck me dead. Dan T, five dollars arch. I'm due to replace my 2015 Yukon for a 2022 Yukon, but your Beamer is giving me Euro it. Should I get the Yukon or a what's a Yukon? That's a big SUV, GMC, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a that's a that's like a truck. Yeah. It depends what you need to do, man. Where the fuck are you, Dan T? He's in Michigan. Do you haul a lot of shit around? Is he getting the Denali trim? He doesn't say, but... That's nice. I'm thinking, you know what? I get the fucking Beamer, Dan. Don't just keep... You don't keep ordering the same meal at, a, at the same restaurant day in, day out. Get something different. AC3's plastic water pump, $2. Lexus are basically Toyotas with leather seats. <laughs> I think they're, look, I got to give, the IS was a completely different platform. 
it was they never had a Toyota equivalent. The ES is. I like the fucking GS. I like the GS. If you're going to go midsize, they don't sell the GS anymore. Lexus has done some really fucking stupid things. They look like a retired man's car. I want some sporting pep. You know what? I think a Lexus, a Beamer, they're all going to fucking be problematic technical, technical advances. Just fucking, you know what? Lexus really pisses me off, okay? I love, I wanted to buy one. They fuck me off. Stud Muffin, I sent it to both email. No, but that's the other Archie Luxury live stream channel, man. Fuck, Strawberry Red, it's just come up. Thank God. Holy shit. Arch, I think you did good getting your BMW. Um, Holy you released it. shit. This just, is, uh, record actually, any and like all. This. Imperfections, Actually, be, so you have them on record. To be totally honest with you, this is actually a uh, stud, stud muffin. This is absolutely probably the greatest car in the world. Oh, put it up. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. Going Mercedes. Oh, okay. The first supercar. These are um, actually yeah, really probably, fucking, you know, you got to change the, the oil cars. every 5,000 kilometers in them. They're really fucking difficult to own. Shit, Mind you, it's worth several million dollars. Yeah, not so not to mention the $7 million it costs just to buy one in the first place. There are 50s. I think they're cool. They've got no power steering, no air con. No, they weren't. It's a different era, but they are yeah. fucking. I think that's is that the holy grail of vintage cars? I mean classic. These are classic, not vintage. That's the holy grail of Mercedes for sure. Okay, now let, let's put it this way, right? If you have the same amount of money, would you get mm -hmm. that or a new hypercar? I get a SL. You know what I'd get? <laughs> if I had the same money, I'd get an SLR McLaren. You know the Mercedes McLaren? Hoovy yep. had one. You know the white one Hoovy had? Oh, no, that was an SLS. But, you know, his friend, what's his name? Vin Wiki. He got a, you know, the McLaren SLR. Yeah. You know, those are I, hybrids. Yep. They're fucking the dual, amazing. The dual headlight ones? Yep. But yep. you must admit, that is a fucking beautiful. But for seven million, you could buy three of those. Uh, I mean, that is for the fucking... cost of this car. That is on the screen. You can buy three of those fucking other cars, or four of them. So this car or itself. Five of let's, them. Ha let's have a look, guys. Let's have a look. That Holy is... fuck! Look at that engine bay for a fucking vintage car. Look at that fucking completely. Oh my god! Truly the holy grail of Mercedes. Fucking hell! Look at those lines, man. I like the color. You know what? I actually like. Look at those vents, man. Fuck. And they're functional. Dead. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, fuck. Look at that. Fuck me, Dad. Fuck. Look at that. Bitch to drive, an absolute bitch to drive, a bitch to reverse park in. Uh, uh, why do you say it's? Uh, it would be a pain in the ass to drive it. No power steering, no oh. air con, and yeah, so. apparently, I've never driven one, but the gear changes. You, I think you've got a double the clutch, double clutch, double clutch. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I'm? That's just older know. gearboxes, man. I mean. So, you gotta treat them. You gotta treat them the way they need to be treated. It's even got the fitted luggage. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I had a friend of the family who had a who managed to get a old Fiat. Uh, what do you call it? The little Fiat. The one two four Sport. But yeah, but no, but was it, it was an old one. I think it's it was a nineteen eighty three. 
It'll be oh. an X19. And he had it. He had that Fiat all rebuilt, and he brought it over. It was a convertible, and he gave me the keys and said, "Do you want to take it out for a spin?" I said, "Sure, I'll take it out for a spin." So it was a uh, it was a manual manual shifting car. But what I found was difficult to do in that car was to to clutch and drive because the clutch pedal was right next to heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. Right next to the brake. So and yeah. I got big I got big feet, size yeah. 12 feet, and I had to feel my way to make those shifts so I would hit Thank the you, clutch. Thank you, Stud Thank you. Apologies for losing. Same my problem temper. with the Pantera. And look at there's, this. There's this no is, this is a really so Casey. Up... This is really nasty here. What's up? You know what? I think we've got to have a talk to Sovran. We might have to. His e, my E30 was a joke. Convertible roof leaked like a sieve. <laughs> the steering wheel shook so much it took your wind. It, it would wind your watch. Overheated. Earth leak would flatten the battery every fortnight. Well, I oh, talked yeah. to somebody yeah. today who said their BMW caught on fire on them. Um, the three series caught on fire. Um, and and it would shut off on the on the. It just oh. shut off on like out of the blue lost all power um and it turned out to be an upgrade look, uh, every car has faults there's so many yeah, mechanical exactly. parts in them that was and, my point back to him is just like well you know i've had exactly the opposite experience with mine so you know what do you say you know the other thing is too i know people who really hard on their cars i worked with this guy who he had a honda accord euro and he said, oh, the gearbox went. And I knew how he drove it. I said, no wonder it went because you fucking abused it. If you're going to abuse it, what 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 do you expect? The same as Ronnie Paul's car. Your car, you've got, they, you know, the Hellcat. They reckon they're terrible. They're unreliable. They're, they're shit. They're That's because the people who buy them treat them like garbage. Yeah. You, they, you know what I mean? Shit out of them, yeah. You've mm. got to have respect for them. And you can push him a bit, but you've got to be mindful, okay? Some of these guys, they really treat it badly. AC3's driver's seat cushion, $2. Help, help, save me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes some really cool uh, silicone cushion. Here you go, Sovron says, thousands made who... Thousands made who were happy, but mine was a lemon. I got to say, my E30, I did 155,000 Ks in it. And it was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, Arch, have you taken your new car on a solo drive? No, not. I, I've done a small trip. I've just gone for a little drive myself, but I haven't got. When you say a solo drive, you mean a really nice highway drive. Yeah, and, yeah no, by yourself. Not and yet. All that. Not yet. Yeah. No, not yet, Casey. No. Yeah. Take You'll a drive. Be smiling all the, all the way down. Right? Let the wind blow. You know in what, your Casey? Face. I got to tell you, the BMW I've got, I really think it's incredible. And I got to tell you, Casey, what I love about you is you got your BMW, you're looking at a Ferrari, but you're still going to respect your BMW when you get a Ferrari, aren't you? Oh, definitely. It, it, I mean, honestly, it's going to be a better city car compared to the Beamer, uh, to the Ferrari, right? Yeah. The Ferrari's a bitch to drive in the city. You yeah, can't exactly. park it anywhere. You can't yeah. leave it unattended. It's a real bitch. Yep. But your BMW... um you got a lot of respect for it. And you know what? I like that. I like that. Like the F30, that that's a I actually prefer the look of the F30 mm. to the G20, but that's just me. I, I like the luxury line F30. You remember they mm. did luxury line? Yeah, that's mine. Mine is a oh, luxury, you got a luxury line. line. Yeah. Ah. Is that a BMW or a, a Audi? Yeah, the B, BMW F30. No, no, no. It's, so, it, it, so. it's, it's you got yeah. you got a what? What do you got? You got a you got a three uh, three two eight i three two eight i three twenty eight i yeah. It's yeah. the same car but non turbo. No, no, it is mm -hmm. twin scroll turbo. Oh really? It is. It's yeah. two liter. It's a two liter. Okay, two yeah. Liter. They 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 they've they've renamed things differently between. When countries. did they? When did they drop the straight six? When did they drop the straight six? I think that was in the F thirty, wasn't it? 
Yeah, in the F30. Yeah, 2 0. The E90 11, was the last of the straight sixes, wasn't it? Yep. Like now, yeah. they've got a straight six, but it's a turbo straight six, isn't it? Correct. Correct. Yep. Yeah. That's well, still, it's not a V6, is it? It's a straight six, isn't 2008 it? 2008 was the first year of the, the turbo inline sixes, it was the N54 twin turbo engine. It came in the 135 and the 335Is. Okay. 2008, 2009, 2010, they all came with N54s. Or, no, 2008, 2009. In 2010, they came out with the N55, which was a twin scroll single turbo inline six. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of differences, minor but ma major differences between the two. <laughs> a little more horsepower, um, but basically still uh, beasts. Um, but what do you think of this? Keith's 39 E46, still the best Beamer, nice and simple by today's standards. Straight yep. six, a true driver's car. M3, the best Beamer yep. ever. What do you think, KC? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can't argue I with that. I have to agree. And, uh, that, normally that, aspirated that, inline six, fucking beautiful handling car. In fact, uh, you know that show, uh, that that Euro European show, uh, what is Top that car gear. show? Top, uh, Top Gear. Top they 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 deemed it the best handling, best car ever fucking made. Um, and the guy went out there and it just drifted like like nobody's business, and and then could drive you know down the freeway like anything, and and it hauled ass down the the autobahn. It did everything you ever wanted it to do. Yeah, the beauty um, of the three series, right, is they never get it wrong with every generation. Every generation will leave a mark with everybody, right. Everybody will love yeah. the three series, no matter which generation. You, you know what? I got to tell you, Casey. I drove my my dad had an E ninety three two three I, two thousand and nine. I got to tell you, my three one eight I. I had an E thirty three one eight I. It feels different to my car now because it was a manual. It was a bit underpowered. It was a one point eight. Mm -hmm. It feels. A bit different, okay. But I got to tell you, my G twenty it feels similar to my dad's three two three I. Like the driving position, the seats, yep. the smell, the new car smell. Because it's, I think my BMO had cloth, so it doesn't didn't smell the same. My car, the only thing that's different is the tech. Like in my dad's car, I don't think it was in color. I think it was in it was. I can't remember. What's an E90? They weren't were they color displays or not color? Uh E90. No, I don't think so. I think it's yeah. just white, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So th this car here has got a lot the tech is, but the driving position, how it feels, how it sounds is very, very similar. Yeah. It actually my car feels like it's got more power, but it's it's uh I think. They've it, it, they've kept the BMW nest to them. I love the E90. I love the E90. I thought they were great cars. Yeah, the ergonomics on it is the same, right? All the instruments are angled towards the driver and all that. The cockpit, so, the cockpit, yeah, the BMW cockpit, speak. Yeah. Yep. AC3 seat cushion. I've lost the new car smell. Two dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we've got to wrap this show up. I got two minutes. I gotta get my ass on the other show. I do a stream, guys. I do a stream on the Archie Luxury live stream channel. I've got a separate channel because I like to keep my punters happy. So I've uh, I got I'm gonna put a link. I'm gonna put a link to my stream. So you guys are welcome to come over. I'm gonna answer that watch question. And uh, I got I gotta, I, 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 how many years do you think we're going to keep hearing from Sovereign how bad his E30 was, Casey? How many <laughs> fucking For, forever? Years? <laughs> you know what? He got a bad one, he got yeah. a bad one. Okay, he got a really bad one. Um, I think he needs to. I don't think we're ever going to hear the end of it, you know. <laughs> And I must admit, it must be bad. This is a man who collects British cars. 
Ooh. I mean, you have no idea how vicious yeah. and nasty British cars can be. Yeah, but you know, when it comes to BMW and SUVs, I, 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 I think there's better SUVs out there than BMW SUVs. Oh no, no, BMW and Mercedes SUVs are terrible. I would never. I hate SUVs. I personally yeah. hate SUVs, and I think BMW. I didn't say that. I'm talking about. We're talking about the sedan. I only talk about sedans. I don't like SUVs. SUVs okay. aren't cool. They're not cool. They're not cool, cool with my, my book. Guys, I, I got to go. I got to get on the other channel. I'm late now, guys. See All you. right. Later. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go, go, go and start my car now for the first time this year. I'll catch your show in about half an hour. Could All you right. film it? Could you film it for us? I don't have a portable camera. Your fucking phone. <laughs> your iPhone. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah, hold it okay. on to the camera. I got to go, guys. See, see you later. later. All right. Come again, our... guys. I got to go, you, guys. Bud.